been doing any reading for a few weeks, months. It's been a while. And you know what? I give my hat to all the readers that are so regular. I have to say, after a while, it just really takes a lot of my energy. And that's why maybe some of you notice, guys, that you sometimes you see readers for a while and then sometimes we don't see them. But I am back. Hey, and for those who don't know me, I've been doing uh, my readings on YouTube since 2014. And uh, I also now have started doing reading in my mother tongue, which is French. And so now I'm doing this reading with no date. This is a reading that is effective as you are watching this video. I want you to know that before recording the reading, I always meditate and I ask spirit for guidance. Sorry. And so let's start the reading, guys. Let's see what messages we have for you today. And what spirit wants us to know, whatever needs to be revealed, let it be revealed. And let's start the reading. See them see put the cards. Let's see it. Okay. Oh. Mm. All right. Well, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of meditation. I feel someone, some of you have been thinking about some type of relationship from the past here where it wasn't 50-50. And if it wasn't really a, a relationship where you guys were both together or you were officially a couple, it could have been a relationship that you were investing in, okay, that you were investing your thoughts, your energy. And then I feel that someone is thinking about how much involvement they have been putting they may have not feel as if they are have been receiving as much as they put out or it could be also that you know you could be thinking about someone who's truly not worth it here because the king of cups isn't a reverse so it's it's not you're not receiving it's he's not giving the cup of love here and that could be for men too okay so it could be that there's a relationship from the past that you are still, for some reason, um, brewing in, or you're still thinking of, and it's 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 not really it's not manifesting because it shows your spirit says that you're not getting it, you will not get what you're putting out. So be careful of that here. Here, there's effort that are not being made, but I still see someone involved in in thinking of of reuniting with someone it's not a good idea and that person is not giving anything okay here this normally this energy this feminine energy is very um assertive okay it's, it's someone who know her worth and she's not really looking at him right now she wants to move on okay but let me clarify the king of cups what's going on with him i do feel that there's an energy in a relationship where it's not you know you could be starting a relationship with someone from the past or someone has been trying to get with you from the past and i'm telling you there's some type of hidden agenda here that could be about money right someone could be trying to get with you because of money all right their intention here are not correct or they're not really it's they're not revealing their true colors here okay but i feel that in the future you're going to pick up on that very clearly clearly because you'll see that where you are right now and where they are is just not is just it's not merging okay there's a lack of effort lack of work in being involved in in this connection here okay where it could be you it could be you not wanting in the future to get involved with someone maybe someone is trying too hard and not coming from a good place right someone who may be acting like they're in love or they are wanting desiring you and it's just not really for the good reason or it could be that someone is running broke right now because the king of cups looking at the six of cups he the six of pentacles in a reverse does signify some type of money issues here right or you could be having money issues right you could be thinking of being with someone because of money maybe there's a possibility for you to merge with someone you know for money but it's not supported here it may not be a good idea right you may not get what you deserve it may not go the way you want so be careful this is for someone here i 
I feel it's best for you to move on here and look for something new, right? I think once you make the decision of uh, looking for something new, maybe for the new year and just leaving something behind, things will manifest. With this card energy, it shows like that you're looking at something where it's not really, there's no strength in, funda in, in, in the foundation of something. I hope it's not a house, but it could be a house. It could be that you want to look for a job elsewhere in a foreign place or in a different city or you're looking to move. But it says here that the timing is not right, okay? There's definitely someone here thinking of a solution. Someone is really thinking right here. You know, I just want to say the energy is very heavy, but it's temporary, okay? We have a big transit happening in the next few weeks beside the eclipse, I think, in the next few days. But Saturn is finally leaving Capricorn to go to Aquarius, okay? And so this is going to happen in less than a month. So I could promise you the energy is going to change. I know that a lot of people feel very oppressed right now, okay? But in the future, things are going to go better. So just don't make choices and decisions based on finances because I do feel that it may not manifest the way that you want. You may be, um, you may be more repressed or restricted, okay? And ultimately, in the future, you want to release you of any type of engagement, all right? It's not really supported here. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a union here that is not supported. Okay. I feel that whoever you're dealing with is not going to be able to bring the same thing or is, is that this, I don't believe in 50, 50 myself. Okay. But it cannot be 20, 80. Okay. There really is a lack of someone is really coming from a different place here with this, uh, Hangman in a reverse is when you think, especially now, I think Neptune is coming direct, I think tomorrow or something like that, is, is when you are not seeing things clearly, okay? This one, I kind of feel that in the future, things going to become more clear. And also, it could be that there's a certain things that is about to be revealed about someone's intention in terms of communing with you, merging with you, partnering up with you. You know, or it could be a marriage that is breaking out here, okay? Maybe there's someone also who's currently trying to release themselves from some type of commitment, all right? They're not really all clear about that, okay? It could be this feminine energy, right? Okay, it could be this feminine energy who's trying to leave some type of partnership right here. Or it could be also the, for this feminine energy, and feminine energy could be a man too. It could be a very feminine man, okay? But it could also be that, there's some deceptive energy that's been revealed to this person about, because this is the card of the thief, right? This is the betrayal, right? I don't have to explain it. You could just look at the card, right? Okay, it's in the reverse. So she find out some type of betrayal, some somebody's intention here wasn't real, wasn't true, okay? It could be related to a Pisces, okay, or some Pisces energy here, all right? I do feel that there is a lot to do for this feminine energy that could change your life. I think that it will bring the, something will bring the truth in some different way. And it's going to show you that dreams are possible. Okay. Because this energy is Pisces. Pisces is good at manifesting. The ruler of Pisces is currently in Pisces right now. It's turning direct. All right. But don't make choices based on on being stuck somewhere not being able to see the big picture because you're dealing with some type of oppression a financial crush or um crust i hope i see this word properly financial issues or financial um difficulties that you're just trying to make a, de a decision or looking for some some way to really come back to a more stable place it's gonna take some time, okay? It could it could be possible that could be saying that you know you might have to wait a little bit. Oh, the world magician in a reverse, you know. I feel that here 
you have absolutely to turn your back from the past. There's an ending here. It's inevitable. Okay. There's an ending. Okay. There's a karmic path that's been done. It's over. You cannot go back to the past. All right. It's like when you're ending a, a karmic, especially a karmic uh, situation, could be a family situation, could be a relationship, could be a work situation. It could be a partnership, a location. Whenever a karmic situation is ended, or has ended or will be ending, then in order to deliver, to relieve yourself from that, you have to move on, turn your back and not look back. You cannot look back. Okay. Cause then it's going to be the same never ending cycle again. And it's asking you here to end things here. That's for the feminine energy, right? It's still, someone is still holding on. I'm not sure someone's holding on to you. I do feel that someone could be, that could be for the feminine energy. I could be that, feel that someone is trying to really get with you, but with the wrong intention here. Because the, the Yerofen is in the reverse. Normally that's the card of marriage, right? And then those two card of, which, which is, you know, you see, lead, it's not fair. Okay, whatever partnership that you're trying to enter right now here, I recommend that you don't, only because... There's some information that are not yet revealed, but your intuition is right, okay? About this king right here, this king is not on your level, and it's asking you not to be wasting your time, okay? Everything is coming in line in your life, all right? Except love relationship here, which you could pause easily and just clear all the opposition, all the karmic uh, baggage out of your life, and merge to your new life because that's what the magician wants you to, to, to do it's number one it's in the reverse all right i do feel that there's someone who's kind of wasting a lot of time right now i'm not sure why i think that someone is is wasting time due to their belief there's some type of belief idea that someone has that they really need to get rid of it because it's holding them down and let me tell you something okay the energy is very heavy right now when I get out of my house, I, I block my third eye. I put a hat and I block my third eye because I don't want people to come into my energy, right? This energy is going to leave. Saturn is in Capricorn. It's a very karmic energy. This transit lasted for two years and a half, and a half, and it comes once every 30 years. It's out. Okay, it's out. So just protect yourself because I do feel like there's a lot of illusion, okay, and deception. Before, it's time for you to make plan. If you want to receive what you want, it is time for you to start making plans. That's what it says right here. It's a beginning. Right. So don't don't really focus on the relationship here or whoever that person is. I could feel that this person could be really like out of place. It could be someone, a man, some type of figure here or his own life is not settled. And they may feel or they may take that burden upon you. Just know that it is up to you right now to really set boundaries and go straight to your new beginning, okay? Here it goes. Hmm. Don't make any long-term investment. It's not the time. It's not the time. It's hard. Don't sign any, any lease. Try not to. Try not to. And if you do get a job, try not to really change your whole life based on this job. See it as temporary. Try. And I know we're all in different places in our lives. And it's hard, okay, because, you know, I might be older than you or not. It doesn't matter. This reading is for everybody, right? But I'm telling you, okay, it says here, don't make long-term investment. That's what the page of pentacles in a reverse means, okay? You do have to partner, but it doesn't ask you to partner with responsibility. It's asking to be released, relieved from past burden, 
right? So you have to try to find a way because the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, what is this? The Queen of Rods, she's very assertive. She assert herself. She's able to deliver things for herself. So you just have to remember, listen to mantras, meditate, that this queen is the queen manifester. She manifests easy, all right? So you have to find what it is that you can do in order to manifest those things. And I feel that this is going to change because you're the magician here. But you have to understand, things are ending, but the good things are ending, Good things meaning that all those betrayal, because this is in the reverse, all those false friendships, all those um, narcissist people, they're taking away, they're taking, they're, they're, they're just been revealed to you, all right? So they're leaving, they're ending, this ending, you have ended it, right? Because you're standing on your two feet, you are not blind, you can't see. You just have to realize that it's still in your environment. I, I, whoever's listening to this, you have to understand that the deception, the betrayal is still in your environment. But you have set yourself free. Do not look back, right? Just remember that. Don't look back. It's ended, right? Spirit says, all right, you have fulfilled your mission now. You're the magician. What exactly you want to manifest, right? It's up to you. It's in the reverse. It's going to take time because I feel like some people here, there's some energy. They're not shielding themselves properly. Like I said, you know, be, especially if you're a highly spiritual being, you know, there's a highly karmic energy here. It's evil is out. You have to shield yourself. Listen to mantra, meditate, have an amethyst in your pocket when you walk out or any type of gem that is protective of you and just make sure that you have that protection at all time, okay? So you don't fall back and you don't go back to the past, all right? Because there's a chance you could go back to the past here. You're still, you know, although you're very optimistic, you have ended that, that karmic burden, you, it's, maybe it's just because it's still, there's a degree of like, There's a degree of um, unknown here, okay? And that make you, that made you, it could make you feel powerless, but it says here that you have to take a risk. You have to take a chance, right? And it's, it's everything is new, new everything. That's what the fool and the magician means, okay? So you want to have the support from spirit. You have to try something new. And it's new, new, everything new, okay? What else we got here? You, you've been thinking of turning your back for a long time, right? You have to, to really try to keep, preserve your energy, preserve your funds, preserve yourself. It's not time to be spending. And I, I'm sorry for those who are looking to buy a property or something else. It's asking you to wait because once we change and the planet transfer transit to Aquarius, we'll have more support, okay? Right now we have that Jupiter that is debilitated in 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 Capricorn is just making people make the wrong decision and overusing their power and overusing their uh, influence to manipulate things. All right, so those are still around. The energy is still around you, so just be mindful of that. Okay, I feel that there is a beginning for a lot of people. There's also a possibility of really have a truly soulful connection here in terms of love. I do feel that love could be connected to a foreigner or in foreign country here. All right. Or if it's not a foreigner or in a foreign place, it's definitely someone could be different from you, but it's coming. There's someone who's definitely in the background looking at you, right? So really give up on the past, right? The King of Cups is not giving anything. He's in a reverse. So that person could be himself in imbalance in his own life right maybe there's a fem a masculine a divine masculine energy who's all over the place who's maybe highly emotional right now i do feel someone crying right here okay i hope it's not you could be a pisces 
but it could be a Scorpio, it could be a um, a Cancer, but the truth, it could be any sign, all right? I don't really attach sign to my card, but this one represents an unbalanced divine masculine energy, a grown man who's all over the place, right? Who's not able to make the right decision, who make some wrong decision, and he's still not out of it. He's still in the hole somehow. He's still, you know... Someone try to attract you by doing the wrong thing. You could have had someone who's trying to really control you, manipulate you with your emotion or with, you know, try to make you feel it's some definitely manipulative energy with this card right here. It's not supported. The yellow friend is there saying there's no relationship here, right? There's no really strong foundation. So just keep that in mind for whoever this reading is for. This is a general reading, you guys, okay? It is not, it could be for you or someone else, okay? Whoever that relates or connect to this reading, okay? If it doesn't, uh, if it's not you, it's, it's not you. Don't try to read more into it, okay? It's just not for you. And the emperor, here's your man. You want an emperor. That's who you need. All right. And I feel that you have met that emperor because it's in the past as a possibility that you may reunite with a very uh, powerful man, an important man, an intelligent person, someone who's really respectful. OK, someone who knows that they have to mingle with the mundane people as much as they have to mingle with, um, you know, the upper upper class that's what the emperor represent right he's able to go with the people it's not some king they can they have such an ego about themselves right they don't want to mingle with other people they don't want to do this they don't want to do that this one is is the one that everybody adore and that's why he's the emperor right he's not a king is is the emperor so you have an emperor waiting for you it's in the past i feel that there's some feminine energy who have met already their match in the past I don't know why I'm hearing lawyer. I kind of feel he could be a lawyer. Someone who uh, is fair and honest. Okay. Why is he not looking at you? I kind of feel like maybe there was some type of division or something that happened between, between the two of you. He may feel that you're too powerful or that you may not need him. Okay. So watch for the answer. Forget about the King of Cups. This one is all over the place. Okay. He just is insecure right now. There could be an insecure man around you who's trying to get your attention, all right? But you know you're not giving him anything. It's in a reverse. You just, you're done with that. You're not looking back. But I'm going to end this reading here for you guys. Let me know how I resonate with you. I'm going to try to do another reading and see how I can manage to put more reading for you guys. And just comment below and let me know. Until next time. Send you lots of kisses. I love you.